Hi there, Ian Hamilton here again, and I thought I'd like to talk to you about portable hydrogen generators. And I'm going to give you a little surprise, but first let's look at this one. This is one that I was sent for it to from overseas. You fill it up with water, put the cap on. Here's a little USB connection here, and you turn it on like so. Now, when we turn it on, which I just did, what happens is we start to see bubbles coming up, which we should, and I can't see. Here we go. They're just starting. There they go. Now that's molecular hydrogen nanobubbles. Can you see that coming up there? And what it's doing is it's, it's infusing that water with hydrogen, which is pretty cool. Now what it really is, is a miniature electronic water ionizer. Okay? Now, it looks good. I haven't been able to measure how much hydrogen there is in, in it because measuring hydrogen is rather hard to do. Uh, and, well, it's expensive, okay? It's probably $200, $250. That's a lot because this is new technology. Now, here's the funny thing. We've been selling the Alcopod for years now. And what the Alcopod is is basically a stainless steel container and has this little basket that you drop in. And the, inside the basket is, you guessed it, magnesium, which is what we use with the Alka stream. So when you fill it up with water and you put the lid on, guess what it does? It does that, exactly the same. Now, we've been selling this for years by, and saying, look, it's lovely alkaline water, and we've sold thousands of them. Uh, and they've really been good. People love them. They say they have great effects, etc., etc. <laughs> But we never thought about the fact that it was actually creating hydrogen until a couple of weeks ago when a customer rang up very, very upset. And he said, my, Al Al my Alcopod has blown up. And we said, what do you mean? And he said, I left it all night and the lid shot off. Right? Now, the fact that the directions say don't leave it for more than you know, 15 minutes had nothing to do with it, of course. You know, but we did inform him that it probably wouldn't have been such a good idea to leave it all overnight because what was happening was it was working fabulously. It was creating the same molecular hydrogen that we're seeing here to the point where the pressure got so much that patoom, off it went. So this one sells I think for $110 and as I said we've sold so many of them. So what you've got, we didn't even know we had it, you've got a portable molecular hydrogen generator hydrogen rich water. Now, I remember when we went to uh, Thailand, we took it over to so that we'd have alkaline water because we love alkaline water. And we found ourselves in the hotel room, bringing in, because it's so hot in Thailand, bringing in heaps and heaps of um, plastic bottles and it only does 375 ml a time, filling it up, um, ionizing and alkalizing it, then putting it into another bottle, filling it up, ionizing it and alkalizing because we needed to carry so much bottled, so much water during the day because it was so hot. So it, was, it wasn't so practical in that sense. But what we now know about molecular hydrogen is the more you can get in one go, the better. So we're really wasting our time because we're filling it up, but by the time we use it, the hydrogen would have gone. Hydrogen is the world's smallest element. And even this one here, which is still pumping away there, now it's stopped now, uh, will come out of the plastic. The stainless steel container in that sense is better because uh, hydrogen can't get through steel. But now this one's finished. Here is, you can see all the bubbles there. Ah! Ah! Incredible. See ya.